Hey folks, in one of my previous videos, I'd shown you how to create Google Classrooms from a Google Sheet that contains the name of the classroom, the section, room, description, and, and more. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get your classroom data from your Google Classroom into your Google Sheet using Google Apps Script and the Google Classroom API. So using this script, you can keep track of all your classes that you have in the Google, Google Classroom. So here I have a Google Sheet that has the name of the classroom section, room, description, enrollment code. Using Google Apps Script and the Google Classroom API, I aim to, uh, that, that's what I want to do at the end of the video, get all the classrooms that I have in my Google Classroom. So if I go to my classroom.google.com, that is how we access Google Classroom. You can see here I have two classes, that's a math class and the Spanish class. So after, on running this script that we're going to be writing in Google Apps Script, I want the data with the, like the name, theory, presentation, stuff like that, and the enrollment code, the section and room and stuff to be pasted in here. If you want to learn Google Classroom in a more better way, I have created an entire course on Google Classroom. I'll be leaving that link in the description. You can check that out. And I'll be leaving the sheet link in the description too. You can work with, if you want to work with it, you can click on the link below. Also, if you want to learn Google Apps Script in a more better and step-by-step -step manner, I've created a course on Udemy called Getting Started with Google Apps Script. I'll be leaving that link in the description also. You can check it out. And let me know if you want some specific videos in the comment section and I'll shortly make some video. So let's just move forward. Uh, we're going to go... So now we're going to be moving forward by going to our extensions and opening the app script editor where we're going to be writing the Google app script code. So before we get into writing the script and stuff, our first step is going to be going to services where we're going to be adding the Google classroom API. So I'm just going to scroll down here. I'm going to go to Google classroom API. The identifier that is where this is the keyword that you're going to be using to interact with Google classroom. You can even change it and keep it according to what you want but this is only going to be for this specific Google Apps Script project, right? So we're going to move forward. I'm going to click on add here. And here you can see the Google Classroom API. Oops, I added some other one. I'm just going to delete this. Here you can see the Google Classroom API has successfully been added to our Google Apps Script project. So now we're just going to move forward and we're going to write our script. So I'm just going to open a function here. I'm going to do, I'm going to call this as get data, right? I'm going to open the brackets out here. And the first thing I'm going to be doing is getting all the classrooms, right? So I'm just going to do cons class underscore data. I'll be leaving the code link that I'm going to be writing in the description. If you want to directly copy paste and get, get done with it, right? So we're going to be using the identifier that's going to be classroom. After this, we're going to be doing courses. Then we're going to be doing a list of it. And after that, we're going to be getting a list of all the courses that are present in the Google classroom, right? So I'm going to do a logger.log here to check whether we've got all the class data. Click on save. I'm going to go ahead and click on run. You can see there is a lot of unnecessary data like the owner ID, gradebook settings and stuff like that. But I want specific data that's going to be the name of the classroom section, room description and the enrollment code. So we're going to be doing some indexing. We're just going to remove some stuff out of it. I'm just going to comment this one out here. And I'm going to be creating a new variable called const data in which I'm going to be doing class data Oops, my class data dot mapping I'm going to do some mapping here. I'm going to create a new variable here open up the arrow function open up the curly brackets here and now I'm going to be getting specific data that I want so the I'm going to just do a return function here and I'm going to passing an object here so I'm going to do c dot name right that is the first time then I want c dot Say the section I wanted in the exact order of this is going to be section, room, description. I'm going to do section, then room. Then I'm going to be adding a comma. I'm going to do description. I'm going to do C dot. And as soon as you even do a dot here, you can see all the different types of details that you can get from the Google Classroom using the API. I'm going to do enrollment code and stuff, right? So I think we are done for now. So. Now that we have got the data, right? So if I just go ahead and do a short logger.log here, I'm going to do data. I'm going to click on save. I'm going to do run. You can see Spanish class presentation. That's going to be the section. The room is this. The description is Spanish Google Classroom and the enrollment code. So we have got this and in one proper format. So we don't have any extra details. Not a deficit of any details here. So I'm going to cross it out. 
now that we have got all the data it's time to you know send the data back to the google sheet right so it's going to be pretty simple i'm just going to do a const i'm going to be getting my spreadsheet so i'm going to do spreadsheet dot get active spreadsheet here right just going to add a small space here then after this i'm going to be doing constant sheet i'm going to do ss dot get so there are different ways by which you can get it but for this video i'm going to just doing get sheet by name right i'm going to go here sheet one i'm going to copy this out open the codes here paste it in here and i'm going to be declaring some variables that i'm going to be using so it's going to be start row that's going to be one it's going to be two I'm sorry start row i don't i don't want to make any changes to my header hence i'm going to be starting from the second row of this google sheet right and i'm going to move down i'm going to do const start underscore column i'm going to do one here so i want to start from here i can paste name section room description and then the enrollment code right i'm going to move down i'm going to do sheet dot get range now in this range i'm going to be passing the start row then it's going to be the start column and then after this and there so that now that we have specified the start of this is going to be the first column the second row we need to specify the number of rows it's going to be so we don't have any we don't have an exact count of how many classes are going to be there and we don't want to hard code it so we're going to do data dot length here right so we so this is so that we know if there are 10 classrooms if there are 10 classes in the google classroom here we're going to be pasting those only in the google sheet so if, if there are there are 10 10 classes in the google classroom they're going to be 10 pasted in the google sheet too so the next thing that we're going to be doing is adding the length so we're going to do data and this is going to be the number of rows so according to what it is it has to stick to this number of columns and after this we're going to be doing the, we're going to be using the set values function here inside which we're going to be passing the data that's going to be the filtered one that we have added here it's going to comment this out i'm just going to print a confirmatory command saying which or like the data has been added or something i'm going to write the classroom data has been added right so i'm going to click on save i'm going to go up and click on run you can see the classroom data has been added so we have got a message that's saying it's printed but if we go back to our google sheet here you can see spanish class math class all their details have successfully come into the google sheet so this is how you can get your data into your google sheet using google apps Script and the google classroom api before we end this video i just wanted to talk about a very about the google classroom training so what is google classroom google classroom is a free learning platform developed by google for schools that aim to simplify creating distributing and creating assignments if you're interested in learning google classroom check out this course that is there in the description that shows you how to use google classrooms from a student and teacher perspective if you like this video then don't forget to like share and for more content hit the subscribe button i'll see you in the next video